It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back. We are in the presence of royalty this morning. A musical giant, a South African giant. Dozy is in the house. Obviously a household name within the Afrikaans music scene, but his imprint on the South African musical landscape will last forever. And he is back under the brightest light. So please, can we give this incredible human being a feel-good welcome to your feel-good breakfast show. Um, I I'm hoping your tour is going to bring you lots more applause, shouts, screams, because we need you, Guy. Uh, welcome to our little studio. Thank you so much for being here this morning on the foot of a very big birthday. Yeah, um, thank you. I've got to ask, because it's been a minute since we've connected with you. How are you, my friend? I'm, I've never been as well as I am now. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a good, it's been a good journey, uh, the music industry for me. And, um, yeah, it, 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 it took me years to realize that uh, it's, it's actually the responsibility of each person to, to look after yourself. I mean, people, they won't look after yourself like you do it. You know? 100%. Yeah. Where does this come from? I've been joking that you're in the shape of your life, and it really does look like that. The energy that you're giving off is on a different level. Obviously, you've got a lot of creative juices flowing at the moment. Yeah. What has led to this version of Dozy? What, was it a, a moment, a particular person? How have you ended up at this age, on the foot of your 60th birthday, looking like you're in the shape of your life and more energy than, than I think we've ever seen? You know, it's actually funny that at, at about 20, 30 years ago, I was in, in a club. In, in, in Cape Town. It was a late night after all the show. We did a show and we went to a club. And uh, there was an American guy, uh, uh, African-American uh, guy, and he <clears throat> actually, he was a short guy, he was a bodybuilder, you could see. And he looked at me and he said, um, hey, uh, how tall are you? I said, no, I'm 202. He said, if I was your length, I would have been the world champion bodybuilder. You know, you're actually wasting your frame. And I, wow. and it sticked to me for so many years. And when I, when I hit 50, I met a guy, uh, Jock Fisaghi from Kaizen Wellness, and he came to me. I've got a huge gym at my house. It's like a virgin active. That's how you do and, it, um, yeah. And then I just started with, with Jock, and, it, and I was 140 kilo, kilos at that stage. And now I'm 95, and I'm, wow. I'm staying at it. You know, I've been, I've been in this shape for like, uh, like, 10 years now where I just, it's I can't, it, it's like man. almost like something bit me. I just, I can't live without it. Well, thank you for representing that because I think so many people feel once you've let go of that physical self that it's gone forever, but you have proven that on a different level that you can be your best version of yourself at any point. The same, I'm, I would imagine, applies within your musical career. You, you yeah. paid your dues many, many moons yeah, ago. I've been, I've been in this business since 87, you know. Wow. Um, first segment of my life I was in pub, uh, pubs all over South Africa and then at, in 2000 I started you know recording and hitting the Afrikaans market and everything and then um, well then I took off for 12 years where I just where I've, I've got this blues bar on the on my property with this open air venue back to the roots a lot of people have been there yeah. and and I think it was good for me, you know, because it, when, when you do music and you start, people give you all this attention. I mean, it's, yeah. it's that fame thing, you know, and you lose yourself. And, and, I just, and I just went out of it and I just, and I went to rewind myself. Just to you know? re recalibrate. Yeah. Are you different now? When you think about I'm the not, creative not, process. Not at all. I was just a little stout hut when I was young. You, know? like, <laughs> you yeah. finally grow up. I didn't up. have any breaks. It was just, and it was also alcohol, you know. I mean. Yeah. Uh, uh, but there was also so much momentum, inertia around you. Yeah. I think just dragging you along that line. That being said then, when you get into studio with Nadine, when you, when you start creating new music as yeah. you've done now, how did that feel this time round? Did it feel different? Um, or is it just plugging back into that well of creativity? <laughs> it is, it's, it's been like this. I mean, I, I, I was a little small boy when I, when I, when I decided this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Uh, I actually said to a friend of mine this morning, he said, do you ever get nervous? I said, no, 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 no. When I was like three, four years, five years old, 
I, I used to sing for the for the Millie Lands, you know, yeah, for yeah. the Maze Lands, and, and, and that was my audience. So <laughs> I've, I've never actually sang for any bigger audience than I did when <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah, you know. I love that you you're obviously celebrating your your birthday, yeah. um, which is amazing. So I'm so glad we've got you here on the foot of that, um, but also a tour. So tell us a bit more about that. Where you're going to be going? Who you're going to be connecting with? Yeah, well, I've, it, um, uh, I'm I'm all over, man. I'm on on my way to to uh, Kaka in Car, Brilliant. where I'm also doing a, a thing with Zolani Maola. Oh, um, my God. Yeah. Uh, we're doing s some stuff. It's, it's, uh, nobody's heard it before. We did it in the studio on, on the yes, farm. Now the goosebumps are coming. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Now I'm trying to get, you know, it's so, it's, it's so good. Sport. Sport is a, is a very good thing to, to, to unite, unite our country. Sure. But I think we really forgot about our arts. You know, the music, I mean, I've, I, I know friends of mine trying to do all these multicultural shows and, and it's difficult, you know, because people are not used to it. And, and I just think for me, that's all I want to do is get this country to love each other. You know, oh, buddy. Well, you've and forget taken... about the past, you know, I mean, God gives you only today and you're wasting your time so much to think about yesterday all the time. It's, it's a waste of time. I mean, it's, it's, it's what you do of today that's going to actually take you to tomorrow and think back to yesterday and think, wow, what a day it was. How, how far know? we've come as well. I, I'm yeah. going to say thank you for the voice that you've represented within the musical industry for as long as you've been here. You've been so authentically yourself, not just representing your culture, but connecting all of us through incredible music. And I think when you speak about the power of the arts, it's our ability to tell stories. And there is a whole young generation of South Africans that need to hear these stories. We're going to take you inside Dozy's story on the Insider SA. You can catch a very special expose on Monday evening. That's from 6 to 7 p.m. And then repeat Saturday, 1 p.m. Sunday, 10.30, right here on S3. You can see Dozy's birthday preparations and, of course, get to see him perform um, to some adoring fans, which is what he is going to do today. We've got him in the house. We have to keep him here for as long as we can. Dozy, we love you. Uh, happy birthday Thank ahead of time. Much. So Thank good you. to see this incredible man back doing what he loves most, and that's giving us what we demand. Dozy, so good to have you, man. Pleasure to be here. It's my feel good birthday show. I want more love. I know, I man. I love love. You know, I also love Dozy. You know, Dozy, that, that beautiful voice of his, and I just, I wanted a performance. So I okay. feel like we can demand one. Yeah. Omlando Kamfundi, see, that's the only one that I, in fact, I want two maybe, if that, okay. that's okay with you, Dozy. We will pay you in protein a little bit later, because <laughs> you look so good, my friend. So here it is, live, when you feel good breakfast show, it is Dozy. Well, this is a story of an old man. I met him in the mountains of Kazulu Natal. For years late, and he's told me this story. Oh, 
ngabini kupi na kupi bampete ubaba mkuru na pakatu wabu visa laba baba yambili nukutule ya sinotola kone mwetani laba Every man in this world has got a piece of God inside of him. And if every piece can connect in a peaceful way, this might be almost heaven. Absolutely beautiful. Josie! Uh, you passed the goosebump test about 10 times.